I like that, you know, the DLC coming out because it, it's given me an option to sit and, you know, do these kind of PR promo things. I really like that, you know. You know, Grand Theft Auto is great. You know, we usually do that, but they don't come out with like commercial YouTube videos and, and things like that for them. So, uh, not not as much. They did with Heist, but even then, you know what I mean. And we did do a big promo for Heist, but I I enjoy it. I love the the hype, the countdown. You know, I get to support Bungie and Twitch, and you know, that's great. I love it. Lord Oryx is coming. The Taking King and his Dreadnought run forward into our solar system even now. They are only two weeks away. Prepare, Guardians. You have 12 days before the invasion hits our territory. Nobody knows what happened to the light thing, but it looks like it ran out of batteries or something. We called it the Traveler. People kept being confused and thinking that it was the moon. Then, after many years, came the Dinklage. The Dinklage sensed a great evil approaching, and when it finally arrived, it handed him a terrible script. But it also handed him a substantial check. And thus, on that day, the universe gave birth to humanity's savior, the Dinklebot. We will be going back into the Destiny with the music on too. you'll get a mission called Queen's Wrath. You'll also find it in your inventory under Missions. If you go back to orbit, you'll find it on the sidebar with all the other daily and weekly activities. That was the very first Queen's Wrath. One down. I'll lead us to the others. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Never mind. We're helping! <laughs> Just don't you wish this view was here all the time? If you can see that, that means the Iron Banner is in town. So, there's a lot of hype about these guys right now, the UMG crew, that they're just really fucking gamers over. And they're really just making the world of pro esports, they're giving it a bad name. You know, a lot of pro very professional Call of Duty CSGO players have said, you know, they don't pay when you win. 
they're all about the money, they're just a bunch of kids, you know, basically trying to use other kids playing games to make themselves money. Now, I don't buy that hype completely, you know, because a lot of pro gamers just don't understand that, you know, it's a tournament, but still, you know, it's an interesting thing. We're not going to really grind on it too much unless we find out more information, but uh, it, it's kind of intriguing. <laughs> Listen, he's playing with the cat out, out in the hall. He's not coming back. That's why. <laughs> I built Destiny's Gallarhorn entirely from Lego bricks. Look at it. It looks beautiful. All right, let's go over here and see what's going on with the bungee event. Nice. Nothing yet. Let's talk about the dark below. Nope, still nothing. Sexy. I want somebody to dress up like Era so I can fuck her. You know what's funny is I really hate when female cosplayers, when somebody goes, hey, did you have you ever like had sex in, in costume and character? And they're like, what? No, that's so fucking, no, ew, bullshit. If you're a beautiful woman and you're dressing up like a scantily clad, like, cosplay yep, character, perfect. of course yeah, you're gonna right get, like, uh, the hot girl and the cosplay fantasy going. Right. Derp. And then, of course, you know, every cosplay female out there, I'm sure as hell, wants their lover, boyfriend, or a guy, or sees a guy and thinks the same thing. I really hate when people, like, think sexuality is, like, uniquely one way or another. <laughs> if you checked your email today, you may have noticed an email from Bungie saying, As the new year begins, nothing we going have much on. To celebrate at Bungie. The launch of Destiny has been an amazing experience for us. We hope you agree. To mark the new season, a mysterious benefactor has left a small token of our appreciation for you in the tower. See the postmaster to collect your gift. Thanks for playing and for being a member of an awesome community. You filled our city with. All right, folks, we are counting down the Bungie event here. It's just about to start. Um, get some volume set up here. We're just going to leave this going here. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Oh, look, there we go. There will be a little bit cut off on the screen. There's just, I'm trying to figure out a way to fit it here really quick. There we go. All right, three minutes, 35 seconds, folks. Go hit the toilet, go hit the bathroom, do what you gotta do. Because <laughs> we're coming back with the laced up lore and Deej and the crew of Bungie with Destiny Patrol on the Dreadnought.
I'm just like watching the clock count down. Excellent. Alright. Don't want my PlayStation to turn off timeout and turn off. <laughs> I'm like trying to keep it going. Are you ready? Are you ready? Must be careful, or we will all die. It's funny that Twitch always has really bad, like, bandwidth on their outputs of their shit. in a series of live events that we have dedicated to revealing some of the new features and content that you're going to find in Destiny the Taken King. I'm Deej, your host and friendly neighborhood community manager, and we're coming to you live from Bungie once again in front of a live studio audience. We are only a few short weeks from the release of the next great adventure that will take place in the world of Destiny. But before we kick off year two, we have some time to give you a glimpse into a new creation that we're calling Court of Oryx. So today, our mission will be to explore the Dreadnought, the new destination that you'll find in your director, and our fire team will begin to unlock some of the mysteries of Oryx's inscrutable, loot-filled fortress. So let's meet the brave guardians who will be exploring and fighting. In Hi. the center chair, Team Captain, is our special community guest, Laced Up Lauren. Please welcome Lauren to the show. How are you, Lauren? I am doing awesome. So nice to have you here. Uh, where can we find you on the internet? Uh, you can find me here on Twitch at twitch.tv slash laced underscore up underscore Lauren, or at Twitter at Laced Up Lauren, one whole word. Thank and you for having me.